Hey friends, my name is Jake. Welcome to Canadian Cutting Edge, and this is an unboxing video. I The original introduction that I recorded, with the package in hand and everything, yeah, it's totally corrupted. The video, I can't use it. But the tabletop part looks like it's working, so I have to re-record the intro. A number of you have been very helpful so far with helping send in some funds. I've got a PayPal pool thing that they call where you can donate money through towards getting a proper camera for this channel. I'm using an old cell phone that uh, I can't use for anything else anymore. The, uh, the data part of it just stopped working. Well, not the data part. I've never had a data plan. Uh, I've got a cell phone plan that costs me 15 bucks a month, literally. Uh, and I use it just to text my wife and to call, and that's it. And uh, I had to get a new cell phone, uh, just a cheap feature phone. And this phone still had a good camera that still works, so I've been recording, and now it's starting to fail. And it's failing more and more often. I really need a new camera, or else this channel is just going to... It's going to end. Uh, I could I could make videos that have worse video and audio quality than they did when I started the channel. You can go back and watch some of my early videos if you want. But I don't want to do that. I want to keep professional. The thing is, I give a lot to this. For those of you who you know think I'm begging, who cares? I really don't care what you think. Because you know, I put in 40 hours, actually maybe a little bit more, into that video about the sharpness tutorial that I did. I just finished that document and posted it a few minutes ago for it, if you want to read a text-based version of it. I work hard for these videos. Most of them take me 10 hours each. I do research, I test, I work hard. I think I deserve a little bit back. I do get a little bit back from YouTube, but I only allow one video commercial to interrupt my videos. Uh, unlike a lot of channels where it's every three minutes you get a commercial, I don't like doing that. I think you guys don't want to watch channels that are constantly interrupted. So I limit how much money I earn from advertising because I want to do the best for my viewers. If you can give one dollar, if half the people that view this video give one dollar each, my camera's paid for. I've already saved up about two-thirds of what it's going to take. Uh, some of you guys have given a fair bit, uh, guys and gals, and I very much appreciate it. And we just need that last stretch to get a proper camera for this channel. You guys deserve high-quality video and good audio and a person who does good research for budget knives especially. There's very few places online that give you what I give you. I'm trying my best for you. Hopefully, more of you can do your best for me. Or just a little bit of your best. I would appreciate it very much. It really would help. There's links down below for how you can give. If you're in Canada, you can do online e-transfer if you want to directly to me, if you don't use PayPal. But for the rest of the world, you can do PayPal. If all that you can do is write a check on paper, the check you can mail it to him, and he'll put it into uh, PayPal and send it to me. So there's lots of different ways that you guys can help if you want to. I'm not trying to put pressure on you. I'm just expressing the need in as clear a way as I possibly can. Thank you. So now let's get to the tabletop and take a look at what's in this package that I got sent from uh, Nebraska. My friend did send another package back in uh, October to me. And uh, yeah, the Border Services Agency didn't like something that was in there. Um, thankfully, almost everything I order gets through to me no problem. Uh, especially what I order from uh, White Mountain Knives. They mail directly to me. I've gotten everything from them, including this. This is the TS-235 uh, Micarta from Tucson. And uh, this is what we're going to use to open a package. So uh, let's get this party started. 
And this thing's got a very sharp tip to it with the upswept thing, even though it's fairly sturdy and thick, so it's got a sturdy blade, but that tip, oh boy. Oh, yes. All right, let's uh, open the side of this. I'm trying to be really delicate so I don't cut up what's inside there. Because my friend in Nebraska likes to waste very little space. And so it's nice and tight fitting in here. Got a whole bunch of stuff in this package. There we go. Something in a tube. Something that he took out of the package for me to save space. Something made of leather. And the two fixed blades from, uh, how do you say that? Orla? I was trying to pronounce the E, like, or I was saying Orella. Putting a vowel between the R and the L, that's wrong. So, I don't know. Orla, I don't know. So, let's put this stuff aside and uh, look at those ones first. What do we have in here? In this first package. Yeah, they got decent, sturdy boxes. Microfiber cloth and some instructions. Outdoor company based in California. But uh, most of their stuff I think is actually made in China. Fixed blade. And oh, here's the spare clips that are used to restrict the size here of the belt. So you put those in here. So if you've got a very narrow belt, you can still use this. Uh, I think it's up to two inches or less. Actually, yeah. So decent clips, a little bit of oil on there. Kydex sheath. The retention of the sheath, yeah, it's okay. Not good, but okay. So just slightly below average on the retention of that, uh, this Kydex and how well it uh, holds on to here. But there you go. There's a decent outdoors kind of blade. I haven't memorized what the blade steel on this thing is, but great big belly there. So it is a bit chunky, thick of a blade. I was just thinking that kind of belly is good for getting into doing some skinning. But uh, as a blade shape in general, I don't know, we'll find out how useful that is. I'll do my testing and uh, see how well it performs. There's some oil residue on there, which uh, is good for shipping, so there's no rust at all. At least none that I can see, so that's a good thing. It's a stainless steel, I'm sure. But even stainless steels can corrode, so. G10. I do like having these uh, hex screws also called Allen screws. Lanyard hole down here. It fits my paw quite well. Hmm. Yeah. We'll review this guy in due time. Let's put it back. And uh, open up this one. There's no name for what the knife is on the package. It's just your general packaging. Uh, there you go. If you want to, if you're not looking on a cell phone, you can pause it and use this to Facebook, Twitter, and uh, that's probably their factory website. Usually, the lowest cost place to get any of these is whoa. Is oh. Bang. Got such a small tight space here to work with. I'm knocking everything around. Cheapest place to buy this brand is on uh, Amazon, but they also sell on eBay and they've got their own Orella USA uh, website as well. And uh, if you didn't see the other video that I've already done about this brand, a folding knife of theirs, the uh, OL-0027, they only ship to the United States. Only American customers can get these their products. 
unfortunately. Again, fairly thick steel, G10, a little bit smaller, but also those uh, hex screws there as well. Lanyard hole, the steel's coming out the back here. Fairly comfortable. So it's like a small survival style knife. Full flat grind. That's a decent knife, I like this. Of the two, I like this one better. Fairly heavy though, because of how thick this is. The retention's a little bit better too. Same kind of clip here for your belt. And they don't cost all that much either. So uh, let's put that thing away as well. What's this? This is a uh, from Top Hand Gear. I bought this on uh, Amazon.com because they're cheaper than on Amazon.ca. Uh, you weave your belt through the loop uh, and then it's for holding a knife. There's, whoa, that's a tight fit. So uh, what I think I'm gonna do is I'll uh, make it quite moist so that I can reform it uh, for a specific knife. And I'm thinking uh, one of my two sun knives. Let me go, oh, it's just about two feet away from here. I was thinking that I was gonna use this for this knife, which I'm going, I was planning to review very soon. Um, oh, what's the model number on this thing? Oh, it got a little dirty. Yeah, because I actually use them. I use the knives I'm testing. But this comes in uh, three different handle types, the snake wood or bone or um, horn. And you can get it in Damascus or S90V. So six different ways this knife comes. And I thought this would be nice to, uh, if it will fit in there. Might not fit, might have to get a bigger one. I've got multiple kinds of knives, but I'll see if it can fit in there and that'd be a cool way to carry it. So let's put that aside. Now the uh, fixed blade I've got is an SRM knife. And uh, let's see if I got the, whoa. Oh, here it is. There's uh, what I've got. The, uh, that's a serial number. Where's the model? There it is. S745. Whoa, focus. Stay focused, please. So this is model S745. Uh, their SKU number, if you sometimes see these K numbers for San Ramirez, that's their SKU number, K936. So you can search for either one, but the S745 is the actual model number. And yeah, sanremu.com. They got an English website. And let's cut this tape. Okay, close that up. Time for the reveal. Are you ready? This is an awesome knife. It's the uh, fixed blade version of the What's the model number, 1005 or is it 9005? I'll put it on the screen. Yeah, good retention. This is a plastic. I think it's a fiber reinforced plastic. And we've got a belt loop here, inch and a half belt loop. And these things can stop in nine different positions. So you can carry it a number of different ways. And um, I think I would shorten these posts in between and shorten the screws a little bit so that it would sit closer to the, uh, the body. It wouldn't stand as far away. Yeah, that's just a personal preference. So there's that part. Check out this knife. Love this G10. It's got three different colors in here. Uh, the main section is black and red. And then on the section closest to us it looks like a court, sort of an orange and a black so you really get a nice kind of look to that at least i think it looks quite nice comfortable in hand yep 
You've got the uh, holes here for the uh, cordage ties. Again, on a knife this size, I can't really see the, the purpose for those that much. 14C 28 inch stainless steel, drop point blade, very comfortable in hand, and reach forward and a forward choil as well. Very comfortable. Yep, in either hand. This is a nice knife. It's got their SRM logo. So designed for sale in the uh, Western market. I like this black stone wash or acid wash. Beautiful. They get T8 screws that hold it together. High flat grind. Nice. I thought that that would be just a little bit too small when I'm looking at it, but nope. It's big enough of a forward choil. So there you go. One more thing to look at. So let's put that aside. It comes in a tube. Lord and Field Dungaree. Their Dungaree folder. This is my first Lord and Field knife. There you go. It's a slip joint. Nope, it's a liner lock. Sorry, I forgot. Liner lock. Very smooth action there. Not a front flipper. I was thinking it might be nice as a front flipper, but uh, it's one of those classic kind of styles, which, uh, yeah, these classic knife styles in modern, a modern take on these classic knife styles is really getting popular these days. Very tiny bit side to side. That'll just take a small adjustment. A uh, side to side play just a tiny bit. I forget what steel this is. And uh, there's their logo. Lord and Field. The Dungaree knife. Man has no right to do less than his best. George H. Dobbs. Hardworking knife. So there you go. Uh, since it is so gentle when you open this up, that lock arm doesn't get really forced into place like it does. If you use a flipper and you flip a knife open, it goes flack. And uh, yeah, then there's no up and down play. It's just if you open it up really gently, there's a tiny bit of up and down play. So yeah, liner lock. Yeah, so there you go. Bunch of stuff that we're going to be reviewing when we have time to. And uh, it might take even a few months to get to everything that you see here. So uh, thank you so much for watching my channel. Thank you for all the support that you guys give me. Thank you for using my links when you buy stuff. Below the video, there's a whole long list of links for various places, coupon codes, all kinds of stuff. And for everything that you see in any given video, there's also links down below the video for those as well. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And remember, friends, always cut towards your chum, not your thumb. Bye for now.